Come in the house. Sorry, sir. Wait. Are you a witch? No, sir. Sure? No, sir. Are you a Rwandi? No, sir. So, why are you shouting? Why are you disturbing the household? What? Sorry, sir. Now listen to me. If I ever hear you shout this way again, I'll deal with you. Sorry, sir. Uh, yes, that reminds me. Have you made my bed? No, sir. I wanted to arrange the kitchen. If I'll come and arrange your bed. Clean the kitchen and arrange your bed. Now hold up with whatever you're doing in that kitchen and go make my bed. I don't want to meet it that way again. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, Emeka, my son. You are back from school. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, how was school today? Fine. You are welcome. Uh, I hope you ate at home. Yes, I ate. <laughs> you are welcome. Mr. Kapo. Sir, where were you when I came in here earlier on? Sir, I, I, I went over there to buy something. You what? Went over there to buy something? I'm sorry, sir. Leaving your duty post? Leaving the whole gates open? Now listen, Mr. Kafo, listen. Let this not happen again. It won't happen again, sir. It will never happen again, sir. I'm sorry. Papa, who is he? <laughs> He's one of the new directors in this company. Is that why he talked to you like that? <laughs> My son, what I want you to do for me is to study your book well and become a graduate. So that you don't do this kind of job I'm doing here. Papa, I'm going to be a graduate and I will own my own company. I will employ workers. And I will never insult my workers as that man has done. God will make it possible, my son. Yes, Papa. And I will make you proud. Amen. The Ajo Moss, Ajo Mad, they have all vamos from the road. Fajan in a they've all gone. Eh? I've forgotten that your mother is a prayer warrior. No, I know, but you have to be careful. Uh, I will. Uh, what you do for me is that you make sure your younger ones go to school early. Oh? Uh. Just get them ready on time. In fact, wake them up now. Mm -hmm. And you, self, you should go and get ready and go to school early. Okay. Make sure they eat food though, mm -hmm. and then your father feed him. Oh, feed him. Huh? Take care of yourself. Okay, but I'll be careful. Uh, are you not a child of God? Uh, hey, I know I'm careful. I'll be coming to your house this evening to copy down. You know, I couldn't see anything on that, but because of my knee dead. But well, you know it's not possible. Because I'm going to get home late. But we close early today now. It's not about closing early. I have to go to where my mother works to help out. There are lots of things to do there. Oh, that's a so What do I do now? The assignment today. I wrote yours for you. It's in your handbag. Are you serious? Oh my God. God. Thank you so much. Thank What's that on your teeth? It's a cool. What you put that? I like it. Don't you like it? It's a good now. Go. Has your father seen it? Yes, now my my auntie came back from the US yesterday and she put it for me. I like it. I better give me the note. Don't remove it. What that? Please, I like it like that. What's my name? Hey, Lydia. 
at the backyard washing dresses so i'm going to pick my children from school make sure lunch is ready before i get back yes madam uh, the lunch is ready i want it very much okay ma sorry ma go and prepare food yes When you serve so. it's your hair hey, now. Hey? Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> Jesus! I'm going to go and I just go and go. Hey! No, no, no. I'm going to go and No. See, I prepared a goose soup and a bitter leaf soup. Hey. And I made powdered yam. Oh, you said you're watching hey. your weights. Hey. 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 You are not happy. I am not happy. Daddy, I am not happy with what is going on in this house. Okay. How do you mean? Daddy, let me ask you because you are the man of the house. Is it right? Like, is it proper for another woman to make your room, wash your clothes, your undies when your wife is at home? Judith, mommy, please. I have not come to you yet. The question is for daddy. Well, uh, mm, the answer to your question is no. Then what is going on in this house? I don't get it. What is going on? I walked into this house today and I saw Nene washing the clothes of every member of this house. Their clothes, their undies, even the clothes of, of, of an overgrown old good for nothing man mark and then to make things worse i walked into your room and i saw the mother making your bed how oh, daddy is he right is he right well uh, let me let me answer that question because it's so obvious she's referring to me judith this is my house my husband's house it is my business whichever way i want to run it the woman you were referring to 
is my need. I pay her. I pay her to do the chores in this house. And she must earn that pay. So when you get married and you go to your husband's house, you run it the way that pleases you. I hope I have answered your question. But mommy, that doesn't make it right. Just shut up! Was that what you learned in your youth service? That was part of what I learned. Mommy, during my youth service, I stayed alone. I was opportune to mix with people from other backgrounds, people with values. And it dawned on me that the training you gave me was not sufficient enough for me to stand on my own as an independent woman. I hope I've answered your question. Go to your room. Hey, what's going on here? I heard voices. Is it not your sister trying to teach me how to run my home? Mm. Why are you making mom angry? And please don't allow me to forget my fingers on your face. What? Judith, I, I, is something wrong with your head? Grandpa, please. Mom, what, what's, what's her problem now? Hi, Pop. Well, since no one wants to talk, I better get back to my jams. See you when dinner is done. My daughter, I called you here in respect of what you said down there at the panel. You see, the truth of the matter is that your mother is a difficult person. She's a very difficult person. But I am grateful to God that you have proven to me that you have become a responsible young lady. I am more concerned about your brother because he has completely told your mother's footsteps. He claimed to have left school some two years ago. There is no certificate. He doesn't want to go on new service. He doesn't want to do anything for himself. I know, Daddy, but we can't just sit down and let him waste his life just like that. You have to do something. Okay, advise me. What do you want us to do for him? Dad, I think the best thing you should do is you should put your foot down on what is right in this house. A lot of things are going wrong and it's giving me great concern. Because if you don't stand for something, then you will fall for anything. You should instill law and order in this house. It's lacking seriously. Nobody's getting the right training. And it's going to affect everybody in future. I quite agree with you. I, am, I hope I am going to get your support in this fight. Daddy, you have it 100% trust me. Very good. Very good in that essence. And it is settled. Thank you very much. Let me you to sleep. Good <laughs> Mommy, you can't call her mommy. Yeah, no problem. I'll go and wash it. 
I cannot wash plates. Oh, yeah. wash, wash plates? Before. You've not washed plates before. And you are not ashamed to say it. At your age, you can't wash plates. See, I am cheap. Cheap. You should wash. Eh? You should wash your waist. No, mommy, listen. Everybody wants to start. She doesn't have to wash the plate. Ordinary plate. She should be ashamed of herself. Mm -hmm. no, no, don't worry. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you all been waiting for me? What's that? Oh, yeah, I'm here now. Yeah. Shall we pray? Where is Judith's food? Oh, by the way, where is she? I don't know. Maybe she's not home yet. Why don't you settle that let us sleep? Maybe she's in her room. Okay. Let us pray then. Holy Father, I will thank you for this food which we have had to receive from your bounties through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Very nice, though, eh? Thank you. Yeah. My brother will come and marry me. <laughs> 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 you know the way to advance that is. Uh... Come on. <laughs> I know. I can't cook the next one. Huh. No, this one is very, very good. Can't you see how I'm eating? You know, I don't normally. <laughs> when, I, when I finish cooking, yeah. No, I'm not hungry. Okay, she can want. She will insert me from now. For what? You won't give me. I will not cook for you. Yes, mommy. I'm here. Yes, mommy. Are you an idiot? Uh -huh. Solicitor and advocate. But I'm here. Is there any problem? Okay. I don't understand what this woman cooked and call, called it food. There's so much pepper in the food. Ah. Please go and call her for me. Hey, Nidia! Um, mommy, I cooked the food myself. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Are you sure? Mommy, don't blame me. Never taught me how to cook or do anything as a woman. Instead, you employed Nidia and her children. And you've practically turned them into maids. They do all the chores in this house. You're training them to our own detriment. Anyway, I need training, so I decided to learn how to do these things for myself for the future. Congratulations, my daughter. It is God that put this in you. Thank you. It's well with you. I like, I like the food. You like it? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm, it's so good. Hey. <laughs> thank you. Try it. Mm. What do you know when you're cooking? Mm. 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 Mommy, do you know that Sister Judy forced me to wash play with Chema this morning? Eh? What is what? Mm. And look, my fingers are paining me. It should! Judy, what are you turning her into? English woman. Look at my fingers, they are paining me. But the pain allowed you to eat. Hmm? Tomorrow you will still wash more. And you, mm. you don't like the food I did. Okay. Problem. Wait, what? Eh? Uh, come and take this one as well. What are you, are you saying something? Anyway, take, take your cheap food away. Gosh, I like the two. Mama, I'm some fasting and get some separate cells. Eat some of the strategies. Good for you now. Your Wayek registrations will be starting soon and it's 15,000 naira. Anybody that registered late will pay SR 1,500 naira as late and free. Make sure you read your books at home because Wayek is not like school exams. External invitators will be coming to supervise you people. So you need to study hard to avoid Nene. Nene. Nene, what are you doing here while others are in class? Nene. I just want to sit out a little on my own. But I'm, I'm fine. Nene, you are not fine. 
You are not fine except if you're not the Nina I used to know. What is it? It's about the announcement our teacher made concerning our work registration. And what about it? Is that not what we've been expecting? IJ. IJ, you won't understand. Nini, you understand what? Nini, you're very intelligent and I'm sure you're coming up with a good result. So what is it? It's the money. I mean, 15,000 naira is the salary of both my parents. The money is much. I mean, where are we supposed to get that money from? Is that why you're sitting here all alone? Okay, don't worry, I know what to do. Hmm? Don't worry, I know what to do. Let's go back to class. No, no, no I just want to sit out here. Let's go back to no, 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 let's go back. Mm -hmm. I am fine. I just want to stay here a little. I'm fine, really. Okay. 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 Since you came back from school, what is the matter? So, what is the problem? What is it now? Um, Mama, I, I was just wondering why Mark fits me the way he does. That good for nothing boy. That yeah. hopeless thing yeah. that Anna's right. Yeah, yeah. Where is that you get Come. Do you have a mental problem? Yes. So why did you leave my clothes out in the rain? I was just going back from school. You just came back from school? So I should spread the red carpet for you, Abby. Now listen to me. By the time I'm in and out, go and rewash all those clothes, okay? And make sure you do that before you eat. Who dropped this? Thing? <laughs> you know that man that I normally show, I mean, Okoko. Oh, the bad man. The bad man. Yes. Be careful. Then you want, Mama. 
I hope all is well. Papa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, all, all is well. So what is um Mama I, I lied to you today. Right. At Madame Cecilia's house. When you asked me what was bothering me. Uh, I told you it was Mark. It wasn't Mark, Mama. I was unhappy because my teacher said we have to pay for the registration of our wife. And the fee is 15,000 naira. He also said that if we pay late, we're going to pay an additional 1,500 naira. That's why I was unhappy. So, my, what do we do now? At any rate, when I get to Madame Cecilia's, I will try and talk to the woman. But you know, she's. I doubt if she will give me any money. She won't. She won't even allow her husband to give me money. So, uh, I'll just try and see if I can raise it from her. But I, I might be able to do something. Yeah? Hey, mm. dear. Uh, <coughs> yes, I know. But, well, 50,000 naira is. It's a big money. Yes, I know. It's a big you know, we are owing house rent here. Yes. And uh, you see, the, the Lambo came around the other day shouting um, and. For the house rent. For the right? house rent. Oh. I don't know. You don't know how. Oh, the, the, the amount they are paying. Oh, how much is my salary? That has rent. But at any rate, um, um, what I'll do is try as much as I can to raise the money. Huh? If I'm not able to raise it this year, maybe next year you, you register for your work. I'm sure by, by next year the money must be down. I'll start saving from now. Okay. You are correct. So don't just cry. Please don't cry. Huh? Hey, Biko, take it easy. Don't just over. I know you are sick. The BP, every little thing just triggers it like that. Just like that. So. Just calm down. Oh, but, but, but where is God? God is there. God is there. No, I mean, don't start. Don't start. Just mambo. Biko. God is there. Life is full of, God is there. Life is full of sorrow. It always cries. What are you doing here? Are you not going to school today? Ijoma. What is it? Why are you crying? What do you mean you can't find the money I give you for your work? Where did you keep it? What do you mean you don't know? Ijoma, as old as you are. I can see you're becoming irresponsible and careless. Ijoma, get up. Go in there and get yourself ready for school. The always cry. always How did you get this money? You know, I, I lied to my dad that I misplaced the money he gave me. So he told my mom to go and pay another money for me. You lied. You shouldn't have. That's not good. You need some lies unnecessary. I lied to my dad knowing that he's capable of paying another money for me. But you, you don't have anybody. You don't have. So what are we friends for? Let's take the money, please. Only if you promise not to lie again. <laughs> okay, I promise I won't lie again. Promise. Thank you. <laughs> so how is Joma and your mom? She's fine. 
Very fine. Thanks. Racket of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Say it. Bracket of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. I will give you one example and I will solve it. One number one number four divided by two number four over six of two over five. What's huh? doing? Four times four. Four plus one. Five. Five over four. Divided by six, six times two. Twelve plus four. Sixteen. Sixteen over six. Of two. Of two over five. Tell me something. How can trauma that schools in a cheap public school be teaching you something? Do you know how much I pay for your school fees? Mm. Will you shut up? If I ever see you anywhere around her, you will not like what I'll do to you. Is that clear? Yes, My friend, get away from me. Let me catch you again. Yes. I don't like the way you are harassing me. What is that supposed to mean? What is wrong with her studying with other girls? Huh? Or oh, that trauma is not a human being. The fact that your child is attending one of the highest fee paying schools doesn't make her know everything. There are things they teach in those local schools, those public schools that they don't teach in big schools. Please allow this girl to interact with other girls so that she will know what other people know. No problem. I am not against her learning from people, but definitely not from those wretched maids. No. Now, let me ask you what do you stand to gain? by harassing and even looking down on people you are better than. You have answered it because I am better than them. Listen, I, I should be looking up, not down. Excuse me. So that makes you their creator now, isn't it? Of course I'm not their creator. But thank God that their creator knows that I'm better than them. <laughs> you better watch. You better watch your steps. Hello. I want to visit to Wakre to collect my BP house before he leaves for market. Ah. Oh, that's okay. That's, I was just thinking we should go and visit uh, Ijoma's parents. Uh, the, the one, one that, that brought uh, money for for uh, the first registration, why uh, uh, I say thank you to the parents now. At least, come on, 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 Maybe one day we'll meet them and yeah. thank them personally. Is that right? Let me run. Oh, yeah. Why open? Mm -hmm. I'll go cook one for you. <laughs> yeah, you, do. you know, I like cook. I do. Yeah. And it's be better than this man. Your, your health. Uh, 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 okay.
Choma, have you eaten? Yes. Please, they gave us an assignment to submit tomorrow, but I'm finding it difficult to solve. Could you help me? Bring the lemon with me. Please, do the first. I'm not saying I should stop talking to you people because you people are poor. Okay, but your mommy should know that it's not our fault that we are poor. She was like, you know all of them. Yes, that is what they taught us today. Thank you. When your mommy comes back, I'm going to bring ice cream for you, yeah? Emeka Okafo. What happened? You did not do well in the last homework. I'm sorry, Master. I did not understand the assignment clearly, and I did not have anybody to teach me the assignment. That is not an excuse. You must sit up, or I will have to come and see your parents. Yes, Master. Sit down. Ngo see you one one name. I must commend you. You did wonderfully well in your homework. Thank you, Master. Keep it up. Thank you, Master. Sonia John. Yes, Master. You really impressed me. Thank you, Master. You were improving especially on the area of your homework. Thank you, Master. I want you to keep it up. Thank you, Master. Is my housemate that taught you? Your housemate? Yes, Master. That's wonderful. Now, I want you to keep going close to her. She must be very intelligent. Okay, Master. All right, class, I want you all to clap for Ngozi and Sonia. <laughs> good, good. Now, class, let's go over to what we have today. Our topic today is marriage. I want you all to say it. Marriage. Say it again. Marriage. Good. Daddy, when we come back from school today, the woman was knocking on the door when we were in the bus. The driver now stopped. Now came down from the car and asked her what happened. She now said she forgot something inside uh -huh. it yesterday. Mm. Story, story. My teacher, I don't want to continue. Yesterday, then the driver said, What? Then she now said that let her enter inside and look for it first. The driver now said, Okay, she now entered inside. She looked, looked around, she did not say anything. I told a lie that she forgot something yesterday. She didn't say anything. The driver now said that she was not sure that she should come down from the phone. <laughs> Sorry, you are your stories. <laughs> Honey, Judith called and said that um, she'll be coming home at the end of the month. Yes, uh, she called me and said the same thing too. Oh, she did. <laughs> I got the highest mark today on my assignment. Her teacher said that I'm improving. Give me a high five. Back up. Are you not my daughter? You know you took after me. When I was your age, nobody was competing with me. I was always getting the first position. Give me another high five. You're too much. <laughs> Don't worry, my dear. Tomorrow I am going to take you out there. And I'm going to buy you snacks and ice cream. Mm. Mm -hmm. get back for Choma too. Hey, hey! Shh! Just shut up. Shut up. Why, why do you say that? Just shut up. Daddy, should I get your glasses? Okay. okay. Tears never dry. Always cry. Choma. Sonia, what are you doing here? You want to bring a map to do to your report with your mom. My brother is in the parlor watching you go. Where is your mother? My mother went to market. And sister ne? My sister has not come back from school. Okay, please help me to do my assignments. Wait, let me finish what she has. Let me do my
Any Indian had over. What is this? Why have you turned my house into a church? Huh? My what? daughter, she passed uh, Wayek. Wask. So? My friend, come and give me food. Oh, my So what did you do? I went to Papa's office oh. and he gave me 100 naira to buy drugs for her, which I've done. Oh. And he said he's coming back around 8 p.m. today. Oh. So what do you suggest we do? I think we should take her to the hospital. Okay. I think so too. Adam, the one. Hey! You can see what I can Well, let's go. Go and get this with us. Always cry. Always cry. No one to help. No place to borrow. Life is full of sorrow. They always cry. Their tears never dry. They always cry. So, 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 please, how is my daughter? Is she going to be okay? Just calm down, okay? Yeah. This is her lab result. Yeah. She has malaria parasites and typhoid fever. And she also has urinary tract infection. And if not well treated, it gets worse. Urinary tract what? <laughs> how did she get that? I don't know. Probably from a public toilet or a dirty environment. Um, so, uh, doctor, what do we do? Well, you have to make a deposit of 20,000 naira. Stress yourself. She has never behaved like this before. Maybe something happened. Whatever that must have come up, she should have at least reported to work first. What is this now? You, huh? you talk as if you're not a mother. You're a mother too. But by the way, you're the woman like her. Why don't you do some of these things yourself? Okay. For example, now I am hungry. Mm -hmm. You can't even feed your husband. Mm -hmm. I am hungry. I am hungry. I am mm -hmm. hungry. Uh -huh. What do you want me to do? Edidia is still not at work. Mom, um, but does that mean that if Edidia is not here, I won't eat? I will so slap that your mouth now, eh? I will slap you. Why are you slapping her? Why are you? She says she's hungry. She asked you a simple question. Just answer her. Look, look, Cecilia, I, I, I've been tolerating this for peace to reign in this house. But it is high time you lift up your responsibilities as a wife and a mother. I have heard you. <laughs> Why are you just coming to work? Why are you just coming to work now? No, no, no. Something came up. No matter what must have come up for you, why did you report to work first? Sorry. Keep your sorry to yourself and go and prepare something for the family. Okay. okay. Cecilia, let me hear the woman out. She says something came up. Oh, uh, 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 dear, what is the problem? Sam, it's my daughter, Chinenyama. She is very sick. Sorry. So when I got to hospital, they said, they said that I should deposit 20,000 naira. 
before they can commence treatment. But I have only only three thousand naira. Yes. Is that why you are crying? Okay, stop crying. Stop crying, my dear. Um. Sorry for your not asking. Yes, sir. Don't cry. Don't cry. Yes, sir. Move, 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 move. Take this from me. Thank you. That's twenty five thousand naira. Hmm? Go and take care of your doctor's hospital bill. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. And uh, I'll give you five days of duty to take care of her properly. Thank you, man. Don't stand there, man. Just wash and give it to the doctor, eh? Yeah? What did you just do? What was that you just did? You're giving her five days off. For who to do the chores in this house? You're not talking. Okay, no problem. Sonia, go and get dressed. Let me take you to an interview. Yeah? Yes? Go and get some! All right, you just try it. Take that and try it and see what becomes of you in this house. Let me see you. Go and dress up and go. something I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. I am very disappointed with your daughter's performance in her homework for the past three days. The worst is that she can't even write anything anymore in her assignment book. What is happening? Mr. Ikenga, I am so sorry about everything. The truth is that Sonia was ill and her doctor advised her to have enough rest. You will not believe that I had to force her to go to bed at 6 p.m. But I promise you it will never happen again. All right, madam. I only deemed it fit to let you know. But now you have told me the reason. I think I understand. Thank you. All right, ma. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.
Mommy, I thought mothers don't lie. Why do you tell my teacher that I was sick? Sonia, that is not the answer to the question I asked you. Why have you not been doing your homework? Because Choma has not been coming to our house again. What is that supposed to mean? Choma helped me to write my homework. My God. Choma does your homework for you? Yes, Mom. Why, why am I wasting my money here? Because Choma is more intelligent than me. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's go. Emma is lying. Give me simple maths you can also I can solve it. Sonia, go and call Chama for me. book from Sonia. Do that assignment and do it correctly. Yes, ma'am. Make sure you answer all the questions correctly. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Good. Ah! Sorry. Sorry. You wanted to sit on my chair? No, ma'am. My friend, sit on the floor and do the assignment. Yes, and make sure you get all the answers correctly. What am I must tell you? I am so impressed with Sonia. She got the highest score in the homework in the class. <laughs> I told you she's going to pick up. You said it and I'm really happy for her. Thank you. All right, madam. I want to get something over there. Okay, let me pick her up. All right. Yes. Ah, uh, let me help you. Out. No, 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 don't worry. No, don't worry. <laughs> no, I can do it. Don't do it. No, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, is that in here? I won't start in all. Eh? Let me just help you. Out. Okay, okay. Let me wash them and put them in there. No, let me wash them. I mean, that's funny. I know why you're doing this because you think I can't do it. I don't worry, I'll surprise you. <laughs> you very I hope this thank you is not because you think I've agreed on it. So you have not agreed on it. Let me wash them. Yeah. Let me wash them. You can rinse and spread. No, no, no. Let me wash now. <laughs> You just finished your work. Yes, I did, and I made my papers. Really? Yes, I did. Oh, thank God. So, do you want to uh, further? Must. I'd love to further. Okay, that's nice. Well, we'll see how things play out. Thank you very much, Yeah, this, this is one of my uh, friends. One of my baby's friends. <laughs> his head is massive. <laughs> that was his identity. His head. Very big, and in fact, then we used to call him Headmaster. <laughs> And he never used to like the name. Yeah, yeah. Are you crazy? Do you see why I always want to punch you? Why did you wash other clothes and left mine? 
What's that? Can you imagine this idiot? She was. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Did you call her an idiot? What kind of stupid question is that? Oh, it's a stupid question. Well, that stupid question is for you, and I demand an answer right now. Judith, are you talking to me? Like hell, I'm talking to you. Who do you think you are? And why, why are you treating this girl like this just because her mom works here as a maid? Is it fair? I don't have your time. Why you listen to me? You better go and start washing those clothes before I descend and on you. And it will not happen. For your information, I removed those clothes. Now, if you want your clothes washed, you take them to the dry cleaners. After all, you are a big boy. Or better still, wash them yourself. And hey, just because you finished school like ages ago, and you've been waiting like forever to get your call up letter, it does not give you the right to walk into this place and talk to anybody anyhow. Do you get me? Has something gotten into your head? Do you realize I'm your elder brother? Elder brother, my cute ass. Please. Wait, have you ever respected anybody in your life? And then you think you can wake up one morning and start demanding respect from other people? Please. Now listen to me, you tat. If by the time I am back to this house, you're not done with those clothes. Empty tricks! Just oh get out! Wash his clothes if he doesn't come and beg like this to be next person. Ah, what rubbish! You can't be treating people like that just because he thinks he's something. Rubbish. Don't worry. Sit down. Let me finish my pictures. Don't worry about it. Okay, I will handle him. I want you to apologize to your brother now. Apologize to him. For what? What did I do to him? Because I told him the truth. Huh, mommy. I can't do that too. I can't. What truth did you tell him? That he should mind the way he talks to people. He should mind the way he treats people. They are humans. <gasps> what did you do? Mommy, all I am saying is that Mark should take things easy. Mommy, you need to see the way he talks to these people. That mama nene that Mark orders around as if she's his maid is old enough to be his grandmother. Ha, ah, mommy, it's not fair now. Eh? It's inhuman. God bless you, Madam. I say God bless you for telling me the truth. Thank you. And back, let me warn you. Let this be the last time I will see that woman or her child washing your clothes for you. Ha, oh, why? Thank you, Daddy. It's here. Thank you. Just tell her this. If I do, I will tell you that I'm your father in this house. By the way, why are you rocking your legs, Madam? Will you bring down your leg? Don't say matter. Will you shut up? I should shut up. No problem, mom. I'll shut up. Maybe one day, hmm, when you leave from Manuel and you don't see, maybe you will now ask mommy to wash your clothes for you. Yes, my daughter. Try slap that your mouth, eh? Busy body. That's how she goes around putting her mouth. Hey, Grandpa, please. I don't like this, so I don't just like it. Let him feel free in his own father's house, please. Oh, oh. Come on, feel free. Is it not To make this announcement clear to everybody, there is a national quiz competition being organized by NATCOM for all the primary six children. And because of this, we are going to organize our own internal quiz competition. It is a mock competition. And after that, the first six people, what did I say? The first six people are going to be taken to Abuja for that national quiz competition. And if you want to 
pass, if you want to go to Abuja, you have to go home and study very hard. All right? Yes, sir. How many people want to go to Abuja? Almost everybody wants to go to Abuja. Now listen, put down your hands. What you do is study very hard. Because the price is very attractive. The first, second, and third prizes, very, very attractive. If you want to win this quiz, then you have to study very hard. Is that clear, children? Yes, sir. Any questions? No, sir. national competition and I have a very important question to ask tell me Amaka what are you going to buy for me if you win the competition I'll buy a house a house wow look at me Rose tell me what are you going to buy for me when you win an aeroplane aeroplane yes. that's a big you know what? When you buy it, you are definitely going to be my pilot. <laughs> All right, Sonia, tell me, what are you going to buy for me when you win the competition? I'll buy a car. You buy me a car? Yes. Amazing. So, guys, what are you all going to buy for me? Yeah. A car. to what we have today. What do I have to say? Sonia said that the competition was good to start from the school level before they get to the national, didn't she? Mm -hmm. She said so. I, I think we need to see the head teacher. Why? What for? Honey, you know, Sonia is not that smart. I wouldn't want us to miss this opportunity. Well, if Sonia is not smart, then she should let it go and allow those who are smart to reap the reward of their smartness.
so, Mrs. John, what can I do for you? Well, head teacher, I want my daughter to be one of the pupils who will be representing your school in the National Primary School Quiz Competition in Abuja. Well, I would be glad if she's among the six that will go. But that will depend on her performance in our internal competition. Her teacher, my daughter might not be able to compete favorably with other pupils, but I want her to be there by all means. How do you mean? What happens if she gets to Abuja? Well, the head teacher, do your bit and leave Abuja to me, okay? Have a wonderful day. Good day, sir. Oh, Miss Kikendo, sit down. Thank you, sir. Uh, what of the list of the peoples who are going to represent us at Abuja? Oh, sir, that is actually why I am here. Here is the list. Okay. Uh, what of Sonia John? I didn't see her name. Oh, that one? I don't know what happened to her during the competition here in school. She did not answer up to three questions correctly. I mean, her score was so poor. Anyway, there is a new directive that all the schools have to provide one candidate, and that should be Sonia Chen. What? That one I didn't see. King, I am the headmaster of this very school. I have concluded. All right, sir. I've heard what you said. Children, Good morning, sir. we are finished with the internal quiz competition. The result is here with us, and uh, we are going to call out the winners. I told you before that six people will represent our school in Abuja, but the directives we received from the organizers, reduce the number to only one person. But I'm going to call out the third, second, and first positions so that we honor them and recognize and clap for them. In the third, in the third position is uh, Patrick Alapina. Patrick, thank you. That's good. Stand here. The second position is Henry Okoro. <laughs> Henry did very well. But we add more effort so that we come first next time. And the person that took the first position is Choma Okan. <laughs> Congratulations, Choma. You did very, very well. Children, if you want to be like them, you study hard. Huh? Now, Patrick and Harry should go into their seats and sit down. You did very well. But unfortunately, only Choma will go and represent us. So Choma, take this letter. When you go home, give it to your parents. Eh? Tell them to act accordingly. Alright? Congratulations. Sonia Jan, now you have been chosen to represent our school in a national competition in Abuja. Only God in heaven knows why the headmaster decided to give you this opportunity. 
after your abysmal performance in our own school competition. What I'm trying to tell you is this. When you get home, if you like, don't study your books. Now leave. Your mother is waiting for you. Joma, your sister, is a wonderful girl. She is very, very intelligent. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, I hope she gave you the letter I gave her yesterday. Yes, sir. She did, sir. And that's why I'm here. Because the letter was not um, very clear to us. Okay, in that case, let me explain further to you. Your sister, Joma, has been selected to represent our school in the Medinacom National Quiz Competition for Primary Schools. All you have to do is go to the bank that is written in that letter and pay 20000 pick up a form, fill it and return it to us. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to hasten action because within two weeks they will stop the sales. Two weeks? Yes. Two weeks. Is there anything wrong with that? No, sir. No, sir. Everything is fine, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. I'll just um, go home and explain to my parents. Sir. All right. Um, if it is for the 20,000 naira for the form, you have to hasten up. Because I know that Joma, your sister, is very intelligent. She has to take up this opportunity, catching on this opportunity. She will make it. And the prizes are very attractive. Very, very attractive. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Don't worry. Just go in and change it. Yeah? 
I am going to take you to a place where we continue this celebration in a more exotic manner. That's not Go and get trained. Oh. Hurry, hurry. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Hey, come down. Come, come, come. Will you drop that? Silly. Jay, I'm waiting for you guys. So go on and pour some champagne. Um. <clears throat> you said you wanted to tell us something. Uh, you said that. Uh, that you tell us the contents of Choma's letter from her school. Yes, <laughs> Papa. Choma has been chosen to represent her school in the National Primary School's quiz competition in Abuja. But Choma won. Good God! <laughs> God, I thank you. So, when is this I thank you. Hey, hey, hey. How is it going to be? Papa, that's the problem. Because we have to pay 2,000 naira to the bank. To enable us get the phone. 20,000. <laughs> that means they have to choose another person to represent. Pardon, how can I? My goodness. Uh, Choma was chosen. Uh, okay, have a, what did you call the competition? She was primary school quiz competition. competition. She was chosen for that competition because of her brilliance. So how are we going to? That's the only way we can encourage her by running around and encouraging her to go for the competition. Well, how? Well, I don't know, but we'll run around. We'll try. To say so. Yes. We'll run around. The tears never dry. They always cry. Life is full of pain. Life is full of sorrow. They always. I can't guess. 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 Okay, Choma, do you know I've been chosen among the children that will go to Abuja to represent my school in the national quiz competition? I want you happy for me. How oh, I am happy. I'm also chosen to represent my school in Abuja. Okay, that means we are all going to Abuja yes. together. Okay, bye bye. Take care. Mama, can I help you? No, my dear. Go and do your assignment, oh? Yes. And you know you're going to Abuja very soon. What do you know now? Like what? Uh, after a while now, you complain of not uh, getting enough attention. I've been alone with you now all day, and uh, you won't uh, you won't value that now. Mm. No. You don't have to complain. <laughs> I mean, for me too, you don't know what how much one hour is. Mm. Everything is not a drama. But uh, what money has to do with it? <laughs> Madam, we have clothes for today. So I should start jumping? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Hurry. Let the woman tell us what she has to tell us. We are listening. Madam, go ahead. What is it? My, my daughter, Choma was chosen to represent her school at the National Primary School Quiz Competition at Abuja. Mm. Congratulations. Congratulations, that's good. Mm -hmm. That is good. So, do you have any problem with that? Yes, sir. It's just that I cannot afford her form. 20,000 naira? Yes. No problem. Uh, Ma will give you 20,000 naira tomorrow. I you have given her a check against tomorrow. Jesus. Honey, mm -hmm. when you catch the money tomorrow, just give her 20,000 naira for me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, God bless you, sir. It's okay. It's okay. Well, good night, then. See you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you, sir. Why, Papi, what is it? Tell me now. You really want me to tell you? Yes. 
My mom has bought the phone for me. What about you? I'm so very happy. But my mom says she will pay for me tomorrow. Okay, mom said I should bring a teacher to start teaching me. What about you? My sister will be teaching me. Okay, sister. Okay. Don't you want me to tell my mom so that when the teacher comes, she'll be teaching both of us? No, don't tell her. She will beat you. I'm okay with my sister. Are you sure? Yes. Are you very, very sure? I'm sure. Are you very, very sure? I'm very sure. Okay, take. No. Take. Thank you. I'm very serious. Take. I'm going to be annoyed with you. Take. Sonia, this girl is still here. Huh? Sonia. Sonia. Madam. Please have clothes for the day. Okay, good night. Sonia, my dear. The money. Which money? Yeah. That money, okay. Oh, the one my husband said I should give to you. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, yo. He changed his mind when you left. Hi. She like But why? He was asking me if um, you have paid me back the one the twenty-five thousand naira he gave you when your other child was sick, and I said no. So he said you should pay that one back before I give you another one. I, I, I didn't know that I was supposed to pay back that money. Wait, oh, any idea? Do you think we run a charity organization in this house where every Tom Dick and Harry that walk, has a problem would walk in, pluck money, and leave? No, now. You have to pay the one we lent you. Then, before asking for another. Please, can, can you just help me? You're my only source of hope. Hey, hey. Yes. Any dear, I don't have money. If I had, I would have given to you. I don't have money. What do I do now? Hey, go home. Go to go to go to home. Go, 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 go. Go, my dear, if I had, I would have given to you. I don't have. Hey, I should go and see to give you money. Stupid woman. You want your daughter to come and compete with my daughter in Abuja? Go and pay and let me see you. I don't understand me. You mean that after promising to give you the money, she comes to you and says that he changed his mind before he traveled? That's what she told me now. That's what she told me. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. That woman is not a good person. And she doesn't like anything about this family. She doesn't want anything good for us. She, they were my last hope. So what do we do now? They were my last one. When is he coming back? I don't know. I just don't know. Do I live with them? I don't know. Mama, it's okay. You have to go to bed. So you can wake up early for work tomorrow. Oh? Don't worry. Go to bed. Oh my God, Joker. Oh my God. Poverty. It's very bad. Sorry, ma, I didn't hear you. Take a look at this compound. Do you like what you're saying? No, ma. It, it, it's just that these fruits, you know, I, I just swept it. Now. That is why you are here. My friend, go and get a broom. Full of 
Coming back next week, Tuesday. Yes, uh, something came up and the meeting was called off. So I, I, I had to come back home. Nice to have you home. Any day, my honor. How are you doing? Fine, sir. Um, honey, I hope. Uh, Any day. No. Go and prepare food for my husband to eat. Yes, my bed, bed. I said prepare food for my husband to eat. Okay. Go with that thing. Okay. Take it along. Yes, I hope you gave her the money for the phone, my ah. Sweetheart, I did not just give her the cash. I had to take her to the bank, bought the phone myself. So today her daughter is registered for the competition. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> how, how was it? Well, it was okay. It was okay. It was fine. I thank God for telling me I don't need to rescue you. You'll be home, you know? Mm. <laughs> Yeah? What were you trying to tell my husband? Yes. I was trying to to beg him to fulfill his uh, promise, ma. What promise? Madam, to, to to give me money to pay for my daughter. Were you not the same person I told what my husband asked me to tell you? Now you're going back to him means I don't even know my job as his wife. Listen to me, Enidia. If you ever go to my husband again for money, consider yourself fired. Is that clear? Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Give me that They are supposed to pay in the bank and bring back a form to us showing that they have paid. And the competition is around the corner. My dear, look, you have only three days left. Eh? If we did not hear anything from them, this school will pick another person from this class. Eh? We have to tell them something. Eh? Please. Papa Cousano, no Zugane, Sinomona Zugano, Cabuni Mira, whether I do. Nam Sisano, no Zugazia, Papa Sinomona Zugane, Cousano, no Zugane, Cabuni Mira, whether I do. I see Papa says I don't know Zugan. Mama, I don't like what you're doing. I don't like it at all. If you're crying, what do you expect your mother to do? Thank God that is enough. Enough for me. It's enough. I see Papa because what I'm doing. Get up. Papa, she's not the condition is not the end of the world. It's okay. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Stop. You're crying again. What do you expect this girl to do, Mama? You won't eat anything since you got back from work. You've just been crying. Please, come and eat and sleep. Please. I don't like what you're doing.
I have come to purchase a form for my daughter, Miss Sonia John, for the National Primary School's Queen's Competition. Oh, already? Um, you're welcome. Thank you. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, but, madam, your daughter's name is on my list. Oh, really? Yeah, that means she has already bought the form. That's wonderful. Um, what if I want to buy another form for her? Or better still, buy the whole remaining forms? Ah, madam. What you just requested is not possible here. I know in this place, what we do is one person, one form. Well, um, Mr. Marketing Manager, everything is possible. Just tell me how much I'm going to pay you, and I'll do that. I want to buy the whole forms. Madam, you know that is not possible. And um, if you don't mind, as you can see, I'm a very busy person. The door is open for you. Take your leave. Please. Okay. I'll leave.
get into the car. Okay. I know no, I'm fine my way home, sir. Let me drop you. No, please. No, I'm fine, sir. Okay, please. Just wait. Wait. Please use, use this. Just take this. Take. Thank you, sir. And use it in case you feel any pain. You can come back to the hospital. Thank you, sir. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. Please leave. No, no. No, Papa. I'm fine. I don't feel any pains at all. So, the man just took you to hospital for checkup and gave you this money? Mama, he took me to the hospital for checkup. And then he offered to drop me at home. But I refused. So he gave me the money and said, just in case I feel pains, I should go back to the hospital so they can treat me. But I'm fine because the car didn't even touch me. Go to the front desk, feed the teller, pay to them, and come back and feed the phone. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So you're welcome. Yeah, so, but God is faithful. I finally bought the phone, so it's over. Oh. Hope Juma is happy now. Hmm. Extremely. She was very excited. Mm -hmm. But um, there's a problem. To get somebody who is experienced to coach her. I mean, coach her intensely. Joma, you need to see the man who's coaching Sonia, Madam Celia's daughter. He's doing tremendously well and she's really picking up. I want the same for Joma. So, what are you going to do now? I don't know. But it has to be somebody who's experienced. And uh, I'm thinking Mr. Okoro can do the job. Our English teacher. Okay. <laughs> Her old man, he's not old. <laughs> okay, I, I really want you to. It's all man, it's in there. How are you? I hope you all made our work. Yes, yes, yes sir. Sir. we did, sir. Why are you here in my house this morning? Hope all is well. Yes, sir. All is, all is well, sir. But, sir, Shoma, my younger sister, is going to be representing her school in the National Primary School Quiz Competition in Abuja. Shoma? Yes, sir. Oh, I know she will make it. We hope so. So, how can I be of help? Um, I was hoping that you could help us put her for the for the competition. I, I don't think I'm qualified to coach up for such a competition. I mean, it's huge. <laughs> there is no program about that. I will do that for you. Shoma, I want you to write M M Good. Now, breakage. Yes, my girl. The hair again, or oh, holy.
Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, hey, uh, can you tell me the first female pilot in Nigeria? Chinyere Onyenu. Chinyere That's my girl. Uh, what's the full meaning of AU? African. That's good. Can you clap for yourself? Mama. Mama. I hope you won't be angry with what I want to tell you. <laughs> it depends on what it is now. But then you will tell me. Mama, I don't want to go to Madame Cecilia's house again. Mm. I don't like the way she treats us. Mm. I want to look for a job, Mama. Mm. Even if it means being a sales girl. Mm. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you, my dear. Um, I do blame you, my dear. Uh, whatever you want to do, I'm in support of it. Anything good that you want to do, I support you. Oh. And as for me, I'm even tired of working for that woman. And as Cecilia has gone from bad to worse, since, especially since I told her about Joma's uh, uh, competition, I don't understand her anymore. I would have stopped working for her, but I have to pay your, your Joma's, uh, sister Joma's fees and the Mecca's fees too. That's nothing I can do, especially, you know, your father has been very sick. He's not doing anything he's not doing. Huh? So, I'll continue going there. At least for those uh, school fees. <laughs> what of uh, that man that uh, you employed to teach uh, John? How is he doing? Oh, How is he doing? He's doing very well. Mm. You need to sit and listen to Choma. Answer questions or spell words, you will be shocked. And she has improved greatly. Hey, thank God. Thank God, no. That job, you get a good job. Oh, yeah. Hi, <laughs> uh, this is the end of today's lesson. You know you have a few days to the competition. So, I am very happy you are doing well. And I am of uh, sure mind that you will make it. Thank you. When you get to the competition hall, if you are asked a question, do not be in a hurry to answer. Just relax your mind and be very calculative. If it is spelling, just spell out before you answer. Hmm? If you are in a hurry, you might make a mistake. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Chema, how are you? Okay. I came to your class this afternoon to make some announcements. But you were not there. Where were you? I went to business. Uh, I hope you are studying very hard for the competition. The time is uh, just very uh, close. Huh? Um, tell your sister to see me in my office tomorrow. Yes. Oh, these three people apart from Choma, uh, who is going to cater for them and who is going to pay their transport fare to Abuja? Uh, China told me that uh, she will go with her friend Choma, Choma's teacher and herself, China and herself. So the three people are there already. But Mama, uh, are you going with them? Who will take care of your father? Ma Mama, I would like to go with them. You? For what? Mama, I've heard about Abuja so much. I want to go to Abuja. So you go to Abuja to go and You stay with me and your father. 
Oh, stop doing that. Stop frowning. You know. I don't want that frown. Can I walk your call? My name is Dejimo Lewis. I'm the welfare officer. I believe you are here for the NATCOM competition. Yes, yeah, please. Good. You go into the reception, you will be attended to there. You hear from us soon. Thank you. I'm Mrs. Um, Cecilia John. I'm the mother of one of the contestants in there. Okay, that's good then. Any problem, madam? Um, I would like us to do business. Business? Yes. What kind of business? Since you're one of the organizers, I want to believe you know the churches. Very well, ma'am. Every one of them. Wonderful, wonderful. I would like my daughter to win the grand prize. Possible. She can't. She's up to the task. She can win. That is not what I mean. You know the race is not to be swift. I will give you the sum of 500,000 naira, you know, to sort out everything. How was the trip to Abuja? It was very fine, sir. Wow. <laughs> How are you finding the city? It's beautiful. Yes, <laughs> really it's really beautiful, nice. sir. It is. I, I, I hear the first stage of the competition will take off this evening. Yes, sir. That's where we are going to. But the, the rain. Yes. Okay. Why don't I give you a right to the venue? We're going to right away. We are going to the same venue. So what do you do right? There's no space in the vehicle now. Let's go. Let's go. The car is filled up. Uh, let me give you money for cash. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. To see you there. Enter the vehicle. Only what I had in mind had worked. 
and I've had some money in my hands now. I tried to sell our rooms back to the hotel. <laughs> but she refused. <laughs> you know, what made you think it was going to work? The receptionist or whomever you saw there does not have the powers to do that yet. Yes, she explained to me. The government has already paid for everything. It's not in our hours or in our bosses. Our oh, don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that is the truth now. <laughs> no, what, what do they want us to do? <laughs> I can't sleep alone. You can't sleep alone. Smally cannot sleep alone. <laughs> we'll do two hours in my room. Two hours in your room. Two hours in our room. Movement. You, you, you. <laughs> you funny girl with funny ideas. It's true. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh no. Okay. Let me show so that this show my All right. Okay. Your coach. No. Sure. I'm coming. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my name is James Oluwale. Having gone through the first stage of this competition, we saw to the elimination of the representatives of 980 primary schools out of 990 primary schools that actually participated all over the country. On behalf of the organizer of this program, NATCOM, I proudly present to you the last ten. Please clap for them. Please clap for them. And their names are as follow. Number one, Chama Okafo of Okpara Memorial Primary School. Number two, Sonia John of Cornerstone Memorial School. Number three, Amina Muhammad of Deda Primary School. <laughs> Number four, Chidima Chuku of Royal Primary School. <laughs> Number five, Kami Bayo of Ivory Primary School. <laughs> Number six, Buma Ivory of Future Heights Primary School. Number seven, Favor Uche Okafo of Regina Mendy Primary School. <laughs> Number eight, Junior Akpan of Esmic Primary School. <laughs> Number nine, Samto Chuka of St. James Comprehensive Primary School. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the last but not the least, is a Mecca Chukudi of Little Saint Primary School. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, let us start the business of today. Join me in welcoming the main director of today, no other person than Mr. Steve. Please put your hands together for him. Put your hands together for him. Mr. Steve, you're welcome. That's the moderator of today's event. Mr. Steve, you're welcome. I, I welcome you all once again. Today's competition is being centered on word spellings. I'd like to let you know the rules. When you fail to spell what is being asked here, correctly before 30 seconds, it simply means you failed. Thank you. So, let's start. So, so ladies and gentlemen, join me and welcome Anita Mohammed. Can you spell the word comfortable? C O N F C O N F O R T A B L. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Secondly, can you spell 
the word gracious. G R A C I O U S. Then, secondly, join me in welcome Favor Uche Okafo. Spell the word work able. W O R K A B L E. Wow. Secondly, spell the word organization. O R G A N I Z A T I N. Hmm. Once again, join me in welcome the third contestant. Shoma Okafo. Secondly, can you kindly spell the word professional? P R O F E W S I O N A N. Answer one question, not even one. Honey, 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 please. Let us take it easy with her. You know she's not used to crowd. Moreover, she's just a child. And others are adults, sir. Sweetheart, please. Let us encourage her. I'm sure she will come out tops. She will come out tops with, with that performance? I doubt it. Let us encourage her. Please. Hmm? I am very positive Sonia is going to win that grand prize. You let me laugh. Honey, please, let's take it easy. Sonia, go and take your bath. You know the competition continues tomorrow. Three among the six. Are you sure Choma is going to be among the three? And besides, I don't like the way that woman used to look at us. I mean that your madam Cecilia, I don't like it at all. Choma is going to be among the top three. I trust God. <laughs> <laughs> and for Madame Cecilia, is she God? Is she the God Mito? She came for the competition, then we came for the competition. I trust you. <laughs> I Cheer trust you. Let me just pray. Spell. Spell. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to the third and last stage of this maiden edition of NADCOM National Primary School Quiz Competition. Before you, are the three last contestants by the name Shoma Okafo of Opera Memorial Primary School, Sonia John of Cornerstones Primary School, and Somto Chuba of St. James Comprehensive School. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But before we continue, we have some special guests from the Federal Ministry of Education. And they are here today to be the judge of today's competition. And they are Mr. John Adamo, Mr. Daniel Ababiaka, Mr. Elmas Igbo. Make yourself comfortable. <clears throat> yeah.
Thank you, sir. Now, the competition has begun. Who is the current Secretary General of the Sir, I don't know. Who stopped the killing of twins? Mary Madani. When did Nigeria become a republic? Sir, I don't know. Good. How many colors are there in rainbow? 400. A person that controls airplane is called what? A beggar. What are you doing? I don't see what your daughter is doing on the television. No, my TV is not good. Okay, I'll show you her piece of competition. She's doing very well. Eh? Come, come, come. Are you both? Are you both? Come and see your daughter. When was the first military coup in Nigeria? Uh, 1966. January 15, 1966. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Who is the current Director General of NAVDA? Who is the current Governor of Central Bank. Oh, the current one. Yes, now. The longest river in Africa is called what? Yes. <laughs> that is my daughter. Oh, make a news. Another question. Fire, brad. Fire on. The highest mountain in the world is called what? Mount Kilimanjaro. Africa. Everest. Everest. Mount Everest. Everest. Oh, yeah. This child is making me proud. Oh, make a news. Oh, make a news. Oh, make a news. Oh, make a news. The sound made by a cow is called what? And also, the sound made by a lion is called what? Who is the president of Federal Republic of Nigeria? Who was the first military head of state of Nigeria? This is the moment you have been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. We have come to the end of the maiden edition of NAFCOMP National Primary School Quiz Competition. Let me remind you of the prize for the winner. Scholarship from primary level to tertiary level. A three bedroom duplex in Abuja. Thank you. And a cash reward of five million naira. Without wasting much of our time, let me announce the winner. Starting from the third position, the top position is occupied by Sonia John of Cornerstone Primary School. The second position from the judges is actually occupied by Sonto Chuba of St. James Comprehensive School. 
This is the heart of the event, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually the moment you have been waiting for. The winner of this modern edition of my National Primary School Quiz Competition is won by one and only Chama Okafo. I'm bringing your medicine now. Mm -mm. What is uh -uh. Okay. Huh? Stop. Mm -hmm. Are you? Huh? Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Uh... I want it to do me a favor. Uh -huh. Anything, my dear. I want you to mm -hmm. take me to the village. To the village? Mm -hmm. To do what? I'm tired. Very good. Oh, you more? Please, uh, no. Please, you have to get up and take your medicine. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like. Mm -mm. Toto said that if you continue taking this medicine, that you'll be fine. Now we. Mother, no, the boy, but you don't want to carry a gun near now. Tears never dry, they always cry. The poor never smile, their tears never dry, they always cry. Problem trouble tomorrow, they always cry. Oh, my God. 
call this meeting because we all have failed in our duties and responsibilities in this house. And this state of affairs cannot continue any longer. Let me start with you. You have to live up to your responsibilities in this house and make sure that this home is run the way it ought to. The services of a maid or maids has been cancelled in this house. And um, you, Mark, whatever problem you have with the academics, I want you to go back and sort it out. The idea of listening to music from morning till night has to stop. This is one habit that destroys. I want you to borrow a leaf from your, your sister who is doing very well. My dear, I am very proud of you. Thank you. Let's keep it up. Thank you. And uh, you, Sonia. Yes, Daddy. I want you to take your studies seriously. Read your books every day. And from now on, there's no more television watching in this house. Maybe on Saturdays you could. Thank you, Daddy. Yes, so let us, you know, work together for the benefit of this family. Let us be one big and united family once again. Hello! Hello! Um, you don't know why we are here. Ms. Chairman Kapo here is one of us. She went to Abuja. She saw and she conquered. <laughs> she took the first position in the quiz competition that was organized by NATCO at Abuja for all primary schools in the whole Nigeria. She came first. Clap your hands. Um, I must confess that this is the very first time our school is honoring somebody for an outstanding performance. Shoma's performance is wonderful. You all agree with me that it is not easy yes. to take the first position in the whole Nigeria. Yes. Clap for her. And for this, on behalf of our school, Opera Memorial Primary School, I present to you, Ms. Chama Kapo, these items for your gallantry. Clap now. Now, Ms. Chama, do you have anything to say? My prayer for her is that she will continue like this. Amen. And that God will raise one of you to replace her. Amen. Remember, she has been given scholarship to study up to university level. My prayer is that one of you here will replace her. And also do this school proud one day. Yeah. I gave you two million naira two months ago to add to your business. Now you are asking me, you are demanding for more money. What happens to the one I gave you? I used it for Sonia. Sonia? How? What do you mean? Uh, did you buy a land for her? No. I had to sort the head teacher out and uh, some of the teachers in the school. Then some organizers in Abuja. I was thinking she was going to win. What? Sonia, I gave you two million naira to boost your business and you squandered it 
on, on the, what I don't know. I am disappointed. What kind of a woman are you? I'm just trying to be a good mother. I, I, you know, I know she's not that smart. So I, I thought the the way she just you just hear yourself. Listen to yourself. Now let me ask you: Do you think you can get everything in this life done by cutting corners? What moral lesson are you teaching this girl? What foundation are you laying for her? Now you are teaching her to bribe, to get things done. Oh. Let me tell you, there is no more money for you for now. What of my business? Well, I would I will advise you you go back and ask for a refund. You get a bribe to get things done and you didn't do it. So go and ask for your money back. No, no, please don't blame me so much. You know, she's not too smart. I I was just trying to be a good mother. I thought that the winning the prize will, will boost her, uh, her morale. We make her smarter. At least let her feel she's smarter. Not that oh god. Oh. Would lend me some money, like 1.5 million naira. I'll pay you back in no time, please. Cecilia, I am disappointed in you. Have you come to mock me? Do you even know how I make this money? Virgin, I have not come to make any more play of you. I have a little problem with my husband. And um, he has refused to be. I want to know um, how it felt okay, to emerge as the winner of a, this competition that featured almost 1,000 people in, 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 in all over the country. I don't know what to say. I'm happy and I thank God. Oh, she's happy. Okay, Miss um, Okawa for Chioma. I also want to know. Um, how or what you would like to be in the future? Okay, what are your dreams? You know, what are your plans? What would you like to be? I'm here to see uh, Timothy Opara. Timothy Opara? Yeah. Is that where I can call you? Yes, my appointment.
Now, listen to me, both of you. At the end of business today, I want you to bring me the sales book, the stock book, and every other book that is connected to this business. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. Very good. Don't worry, go back to your work. I have uh, instructed the boys at the, the furniture show to lock up the place and uh, bring me the keys and the books of stocks in that place. And, um, first thing tomorrow morning, I am going to send her back to the village. Honestly. I'm still short. I'm so short of words, I don't even know what to say. You've tried and I don't think it's in my place to say you should change your mind or not do what you want to do. But I'll just say you should take things easy. Just don't let it weigh you down, okay? Everything will be fine. What about mother-in-law? Uh, she has just gone to the market to buy some things. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. You are welcome. Noma. Uh, Noma. Why are you there? Why are you standing? What is the problem? Huh? What is the matter? Tell me. Hello. I will speak to you. No, no. It's nice to meet you. house. Mom, what did daddy not do for you? What? He allowed you to use the best of his cars. He handed over his furniture business to you. He bought you everything you needed. He made you comfortable. What were you looking for in another man? This was the same way you were going to spoil me and make me a useless child. If I had not retraced my steps. I want to tell you that I'm a graduate now and I'm done with my good service all thanks to Daddy and Judith here. Look at you, Mom. Look at you. Mommy, you know, we, we purposely stayed away. We kept away for two years because we wanted you to feel the gravity of the crime that you committed. Mommy, what did we do to you? What? Mommy, you rubbed mud on our faces. If I was married and I did the same thing that you did, or your son's wife did the same thing that you did, what would you have advised? You're supposed to be there, setting good example, and not rubbing mud on our faces and embarrassing us. <clears throat> um, welcome, my children. Uh, it is good that you came. 
Ebuemiwe, and then Miss. The important thing is that she has changed completely. And I can tell you that she has learned her lessons. Yes. The children. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I had no reason to do what I did. Please forgive me. I need my family now more than ever. Please don't forsake me. Don't forsake me, please. I'm, I'm sorry. Nothing in this world will change the fact that you are still our mother. And that's why we're here. And you know we are only your kids. It's not in our place to decide. We just keep talking to daddy, keep appealing to him and hoping that he gets to change his mind. Yeah, mom. Um, it's okay. We, we can't do much, like you said. We're just... Children and the decision to take you back solely lies on him. But we will do our best. We, the only thing we can do is go back, tell him the chance, and then hope that he believes it enough for him to give the orders for you to come back. But don't worry, it's, it's okay. So, I'm so sorry, please. It's okay. Yeah. We have to be on our way now. It's getting late. The journey is a long one. Papa. Well, I wish you said John. You said my husband. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, come here. Let's go. Come What? Will you come? Let's go. What happened? Papa, don't be gone again. What? Hey, let's go back. Mom, let's go. Oh, 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 mom, we are going. Okay, let me walk out Please, get into the car. We're getting late now. Get into this car. Oh, my God. Go to my car. Oh, All through last week, what happened? Busy. Simply are busy. Okay. Anyway, I came to get something and I'm on my way home. Why don't you have a ride with us? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm fine. I can take a cab. Uh, yes. Before I forgot, meet my brother, Wisdom. Bro, Wisdom, meet my friend, Nene. Hey, how are you doing? It's nice to see you. <laughs> Hi. Um, where are you going? No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just going along the road, but I'm, I'm not... Don't worry, that's fine. Really, I'm fine. Please. Thank you.
but I want you to know that I like you very much. Very, very much. But there's something I need to say. And please, I know this might sound out of place. But I want you to be my wife. I, um, I mean, Mr. Mew, you, you hardly know me. You're right. But my spirit says, you're the one for me. Please, just say yes. Please. And I promise you, I promise to make you happy for the rest of your life. Yes, take it and stop begging. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I need this in my Mm -hmm. It's good. By the time you drink everything, you do more. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stop here. Um, sister, please, how much is this? 690. Bring it to me, sir. Alright. 690. You, what are you doing here? Who are you? Alright. My name is Paul. The guy who knocked you down some time ago. Oh, this is Carl. Yes, you. Hi. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I didn't. I mean, yes, it's you. I've been looking for you everywhere. <laughs> so what are you doing in Abuja? Oh, well, my mom's shop and I, I still here. Oh, okay. That's good. I also live here in Abuja too. Okay. So, uh, may I would love us. So I would love to see you. Okay? Chat. Um, I, I don't have what's over to do because I'm really busy running around for my. Wedding. Wedding? Yes. Are you married? No, I'm, I'm getting married. Oh my God. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I, 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 I was hoping the next time I see you, I'll ask you how you married. No. I know I'm still single. <laughs> so happy for you. Thank you. I'm sorry, part of my man, I beat my friend, Joma. Joma, the guy that almost broke my leg. Please do it. I can be. <laughs> Um, this is 690. Sorry, you have to pay for that. So much. You have a nice place, yeah? Thank you. <laughs> 690. <laughs> well, uh, I want to seize this opportunity to say that I am very, very happy over your that has success at the competition. Who will ever believe that God will use this little little girl to <laughs> lead the family? Um. <laughs> and then it goes to show that uh, our God is a God of possibilities. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, I'm happy about it. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Honestly, my children and I are most uh, honored to be eating with you people on the same table. Uh, thank you for inviting us to lunch. Eh? Thank you very much, sir. You are very grateful, sir. But, sir, there's one. There's something that has been bothering me. One little favor I want to ask of you. <laughs> Anything good. Yeah. You see, since I heard that um, that you sent your wife away, it has been giving me sleep last night. So I want to beg you, sir, please, we, my children and I, to please bring her back. I beg you, please, please, sir. I wanna I call you when you You see? Your children need their mother, especially your girls. But you know, a girl child without the mother needs food. They come now. So I beg of you, please. Oh, my name is
Wiping away this shame from my face. God will bless you. Thank you very much. God will bless you. My Lord. Hey. Thank you. Oh my yes. Cheers. 
Yeah, dude.